My, my, how disappointing. Did they just run with tails between their legs? Such a lousy way to welcome their rightful king. We're here! Indeed you are! And I see you brought your fabulous family along. My ladies? Oh, gods, you're even more punchable than I thought. <laughs> you may want to watch your pretty little mouth, miss. Don't talk to Gwen like that! Familial solidarity. Great, cute, and all that. Now hush. Well, did you prepare the castle as I asked you to? We've decided to stay. Thanks. K, K, K. Do we really have to go through this? I mean, I thought as much. That's why I brought some friends along, see? There's more waiting outside. But you know why? Why are you making this harder than it should be? This is mine. All this is mine. Bold words, considering that despite your best knowledge, you have not lifted a finger to restore it. You come for glory and titles, preying on the work that was done for... No, despite you. Harrogate scum! You gorge upon the scraps of a life that was never meant to be yours! You throw all these big words, all these nonsensical platitudes about virtuous conduct, and yet you're so alone. Where are all those people you seemingly champion? Where are the ones I've seemingly wronged? Well, Kay? They're here with me. What's this? A little rebellion against your master? Insolent rabble! They're not rabble. They're my subjects. My people. My friends. Would you just get off your high horse already? <laughs> That's precious. Lecturing me. Really? Foolish curs! Dim-witted, slobbering peasants! Can't you see that you're backing a pretender? A puppet with no fire, no nobility in his veins? But if that is your wish, then so be it. Hear me and hear me well! Any Cretan who sides with him will get crushed by the might of House Lauren! No, they won't! What? Who the hell are you? I am Desideratus of House Lauren, founder of the dynasty. I should probably also say that I'm your late grandfather, but you, Sonny, are no Lauren. So leave this place at once. Grandpa! Uh, th this is insane. You aren't even related. They are nothing but frauds and charlatans who usurp your legacy. You are backing a titleless loafer. I'm backing a man with a heart. And mind your goddamn tone. That's no way to speak to your elders, hmm? Yeah, yeah, what can I say? You owe me. Thank you. Enough! I will not let this cabaret go undisturbed any longer! So you fancy yourself nobles? Rulers? Kings? You think you know better what being a Lauren entails? I've spent years kissing the rears of foreign courts, dreaming of this moment. You dirt-eating knaves will not take this away from me! You and your pathetic supporters will fill the gallows! You hear me? The gallows! Karen of House Lauren, I do not wish you harm, but as long as I'm here, I will not let you lay a finger on these people. Ha! You want to be king? Then come, usurper! Take it from me! Draw! Okay, so, uh, I, uh, I'm not fully prepared for this. Well, we lost the last couple of recordings. Yeah, we've done this battle twice now, and I've recorded this like five times now. Turns out something about the finale for this game uh, really does not want to be recorded. I'm not really sure why, and super frustrating. <laughs> okay, uh, so we want to bring Theo and Diego. And that's going to be it. Okay, so I, unfortunately, like I said, we lost the recording, so I don't actually have the footage of me learning how to do this fight correctly. Essentially, Karen has goons from all over the land, and you have to annihilate them before you can get to him. But also, he can steal... Uh, he can steal our, our can steal authority K's points. Authority points. So we essentially have oh, to I use have up... To. 
uh, more of them as they come. Or else Karen does a really There's cool a thing where he death touches and then attacks your characters and kills them outright. It's super annoying. I don't like it in the slightest. But there's not much I can do about it right now. You play with your toys. Okay. I play with the cosmos. Yes, Hopefully he'll get distracted past that. Um, trying to decide exactly what I want to do here. I guess I should probably move here. Bat swarm. Uh, can I bat swarm everybody? Perfect. And let's use this to. Let's captivate and gaze him. The mage is annoying. Hopefully the... Whoa. That's a bug. Do you, do you see this? What happened? Oh, the dwarf is in the square with... Yeah, the with dwarf... Griffith? The dwarf is fused with, fused with Griffith. Um, Does that mean you tech both of them when you tech that square? What happened? Yeah, I... Probably. How does it feel? It's because there's a, a teleportation... Move. Right here. Sort of. I think this is the first time I've ever seen you take them on and like you're surrounded by his goons like I yeah I don't remember how I did this fight so smoothly but effectively I have to do this without losing a single person mm -hmm. sort of let us strike okay this is what we need specifically we need to actually kill the Minway nomad yep because he does pure no, damage which is really dangerous push them back Unfortunately, hitting him is a small nuisance. Okay, so he was still muted and we gotta go over here. Actually, let's undo that move. I can move right here. Damn it. He's just out of range, right? I mean, I can hit him with that. I, uh, unfortunately, the, um... Un unfortunately, the, uh... The taunt, the, uh... The target dummy? Yeah. Does, uh, blocks all attacks. So, like, you cannot attack that square, even though, like, the AoE would be perfectly advantageous. <laughs> I can do this all day. It's confusing. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this at this point. Might not be a bad. That gets the dwarf in the maze. The yeah. Let us strike. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to kill them. Oh shoot! Unfortunately, we do not have um, crescent strike. It's a long cooldown for a only mar marginally useful ability. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Keep at it. I'm just yeah. Except now she's coming over. Yeah, I'm not too worried. I should probably okay. kill that mage now sure. that I'm thinking about it. Yep. Um, He's dangerous. Yep. Mainly, he takes my uh, he takes my shields off, which is something that I really don't appreciate. Okay. I mean, technically, the only people that we actually need uh, to make this work is Diego, Griffith, and Kay. Everybody else is very sec very much secondary to uh, to victory here. But still. Oh jeez, hmm? the uh, the dwarf has gotten a ton of shields somehow. I he was buffed and then he had done some kind of shout on himself. Yeah, probably. At your side. Okay, so we have dynamic entry. Supply sundered, and then back off a bunch. It's not what I wanted. I'll have to live. Um. Jeez, I guess I'm just gonna start wailing on her. Well, actually, can I hit everybody? No, I can hit you can almost hit. everybody. Yep. I'll take that. Pretty good. We're taking them down. Port. Uh, hopefully, they don't just wail on Diego. Ouch. Now we're good. That actually that works out for me. Cause as long as we can get to the uh, Karen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh oh. That's okay. Remember, Karen himself is actually fairly benign. Thank you. At least until you destroy all his goons and he does death touch. Yeah. Well, he can do death touch early. Oh, can you do crescent strike? Yeah, we can. We can do a crescent strike right in here. 
Still hasn't killed anybody yet, but that's not what I'm ter I'm not terribly concerned about that fact. You still have the fencer and the elf. Okay, so I still have you. an authority point. So who specifically needs You could a probably debuff? kill the dwarf, right? Yeah, I'm trying to decide because I can hit all three of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is now nah, let's just victimize him. Let's blitz and do this, and this should kill both of those. Awesome. And they're just taunted, so they can't they can't do anything even if they wanted to. And boost Griffith because he is he's gonna be the tank. Indubitably, the most important. Yeah, so uh, for people wondering why Griffith... Uh, yeah, you've been, you've been using Griffith after all this game. Yeah, so uh, if you're wondering why Griffith, actually it's not Griffith at all. Uh, he is not necessary to this plan. Uh, he's just the one with it. I gave him that thing that gives him immunity to status effects. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? He does, like, no damage. It's pitiful. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I guess we could do captivating gaze on her. There we go. At least so she can't doubly can't do anything, I guess. Uh, anybody low on shields? I guess Diego is. Not that it really matters. Uh, but yeah, so Griffith cannot be uh, Griffith cannot be uh, hit by a status effect. What do you need? Which means that he's perfect for withstanding the death. Yeah, touch. he can't get death touched. Uh, originally I picked him because he is. Son. His finishing touch does pure damage, which would be useful, except for the fact that we never get the well, chance to Well, wasn't it the fact that so. Karen actually got so many shields from the deaths of each of his comrades kind of thing? Yeah, because look, actually he gets like, oh, yeah. how many hundreds so or the way 10 Karen, percent of his... The way Karen works is he's got 11,000 HP. He is a really beefy dude for some reason. Um, I mean, he's the final boss. But the really more annoying part... Well, okay, there's... Here, let's, let's look at his abilities. Can I... There we go. Skills and effects. A Splendor generates 10% of maximum shield every turn, loses 10% of maximum shields whenever an ally unit is defeated. So that that's second, why he's been getting a lot yeah. of them. So that second, second section is completely useless because, like, sure, we've killed all of his guys, but we can't kill any more, and since he gets 10% per turn, I'd have to kill one guy per turn just to be able to even harm him. Uh, so the trick is just to hit him with pure damage. But So his mandate is just a, a buff. Standard of repu uh, Retribution also buff. Executioner is the frustrating one. Deals 150% of base damage, is ice to a target enemy, applies death touch for two turns. And then followed by any of his other attacks, but specifically uh, this one. Takes one AP from the player. Instantly gaining an extra activation. So effectively, he can steal our AP, death touch, and then kill us, or... We make sure to use our AP. Yeah, if I just don't have any AP. Wait, what? What's going on? Okay. It still considers the elf. In yeah, the play. elf was still there for some reason, which is really weird. Watch this. Because that shouldn't be the case at all. Die, fool. Okay, yeah. but yeah, so admonition is just a knockback, which is kind of annoying because it can knock you back like four or five tiles, and Griffith is really slow. Conveniently, Real about alive. this specific battle is. Uh, poison. Good That's good. Yeah, well, poison, but conveniently, since we're so close to this wall here, it doesn't matter. Uh, he can't knock Griffith back uh, far enough, so it just makes life easier on us. He has no status effects on him for some reason. That's worrying. I thought I tried to poison him. I must have missed. Uh, we yeah. Well, That's remember, the, the animation goes through even if the effect is not. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a flag behind Griffith for reasons. Oh, so he can't get knocked back. Yep. Okay. Oh, hey, couldn't he be taunted? I think he can be taunted, yes. I guess I'll move Diego there. What's up? I'm trying to decide what's going on here. He's resisting all his, uh, he's resisting all of our status effects. We might have hit a bug here. Oh no. Take a knee before your lord. Try. 
Um, Look alive. Let us strike. He's not supposed to resist all status effects. Uh, sure. Because you can. What's the change? The bat. I Wait, don't know. Was that a sundered or did is that a No, off? he resisted stun sundered. Because I remember before, you would poison him constantly, yeah. and it really helped. So, remember earlier, there was the uh, elf yeah. in the turn order after she had died? Yeah. yeah. Wait, we're restarting the battle? Wait, I can't hurt him. Uh... He bugged out. So, he uh, he resists all status effects. Well, he still has, um... Well, he, he still has a person in play. Yeah, and it still has that marker saying he has a person in play. Oh... Yeah. Uh, it bugged. It, it bugged hard. I'm well, wondering... again. Yeah. I'm wondering a little bit if I should actually back out and let, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's reload. I don't want to do this, but I'm actually going to switch the, um... Trinket onto Signy. Why is that? Uh, because... Signy does more damage than Griffith, and including pure damage, it'll just go faster. Well, you have to make sure that this recording isn't lost. Well, so I'm recording in MKV, so I can't lose it. Unfortunately, it means I have to spend an extra half hour to get this video out, because i got to convert it to MP4. Whoa, wait, what's an MKV? It's a different type of video format. There's MKV, AVI, MLV, uh, FLV. There's a ton of different ones. I use MP4 because Premiere works with it. However, if I do MKV, I can't lose the recording no matter what, but I have to convert it to a different video type to actually be able to even use it. Uh, which is really annoying, but I don't have a choice. So how do you not lose it? Uh, because OBS is going to freeze in a moment, and then I'm going to force quit out of it, I'm still going to be able to keep the footage, and I'm also going to hit the microphone into my face. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so let's try that again. With... <laughs> Again. Signy. Diego. Uh, Theo? Theo. And K. And K. Wait, why did I put Theo on the back lines? I have no idea. Honestly, I should probably move. We need Signy to have the most direct route, because she's extra slow. Otherwise, we run into problems. Okay, so this should, this should work better. Because yeah, I, I had originally picked Griffith for the pure damage, but... So are you going to be using her roar ability instead to do pure damage? Yeah, because it will at least do a little bit of pure damage. Which is inherently worth it to me. And if this doesn't work, I'm just going to turn the difficulty down. Because at this point, we've beaten this guy legitimately. Several times over, but we just keep losing the recordings and that last bug. Uh. Yeah. I just after a certain point, you have to kind of give up the ghost and accept that. Uh, you haven't turned it down yet, though, right? No, no. I I don't even know how to turn the difficulty it's difficulty okay. down. Well, we'll we'll do it. Hopefully, another bug doesn't occur. Suck your blood. Is that okay? Okay. Uh. Let's mute. Can I mute this guy? No. I guess we'll just you mute her. Failed. I think she still has her turn, too. Oh. Oh. She ended up over there because the mage switched places with her. Which is annoying. Well, that's fine. We'll be okay. Because I can pounce this guy, and then we can whirlwind the both of them, which actually works out great. Mm-hmm. Please. No. Nope. One square away. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll just buff up Diego. <laughs> Unfortunately, Signy can't take too much damage or I'm in trouble. Yep. Oh, took off her shield. He missed, though. But he missed. Oh, but he didn't Point, miss. Try. Yep. So here's what we're gonna do. Gonna make it so she can't get hit here. What? It's because, uh... She's in front of him where- No, 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 no. He already got a turn this turn. Notice the turn order. He's- Mage, Theo, Mage again? Uh, is it because I, I saw um, Karen cast an ability on him? Maybe it gave him an extra turn? Shouldn't. 
Well, make sure you get Signy out of there. No, he just like yes. zipped down to the bottom of the turn order somehow. Unfortunately, um, oh. get rid of them for her. Yeah. Well, I just got to get rid of the mage. Okay. okay, make sure you get Signy some points. Yeah. Luckily, uh, Karen cannot do pure damage all, but... One of us will get paid today. It sucks. Uh... Lots of this sucks. But we're doing... we're fine. I just gotta... hope for the best here. Yeah, things got weird... and dumb. In a not so good way, but that that's okay. Cheer up. Okay, there he goes. We don't have any more AP. Diga tanks the hit, and he Here was taunted. Go. Good. Okay, more shields for Signy. On the prowl. Let's see. Looks like uh, she can only go to one or the other. So. I mean, she can do both. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Because she actually she does damage. Which is really nice. That's why I was like, okay, let's uh, let's switch Signy for for Griffith. The only problem is we got a really bad hand for a lot of other reasons. Ah, <laughs> just a couple points away. We are the knights. She'll be fine. <laughs> Who boy, this is a yes. scary business. Okay, mm -hmm. so yep, I mean, let's that do whirlwind. That'll kill. But that's not... That's not the direction you chose. Yeah, that's not what. That's not the tile I clicked on. I, I've noticed that happened a couple of times. I don't know, I, I think as we get further into this game, it's become a little bit buggier. Mm -hmm. um, because they made sure that the early game was Yeah, well, really it's a lot easier to test the early part of any game. Sure. Um, and now that, we're, now that we're getting here, it's starting to get a little bit... Um, Awkward. Ooh, She's boy. low on points. Yeah, she is. She took a lot of damage from that. Actually, I think that I think that lady does about 700 damage per axe hit, so I wouldn't stand next to her. It's okay. We are fine. Good. But now you have to be wary of him. Well, we also have to see if he is even... Yeah, if you notice, she was still in the turn order. I guess now is where we find out whether or not, um... We have to do this again? Yeah. On the prowl. Gonna have to wait. <laughs> we move now, yes? Okay, can I just pounce here? Uh, there we go. I mean, the thing is, I can kill him can really you slowly. Or no, no, you don't have the poison yet. Yeah, his mandate, uh, puts all my stuff on cooldown. Yep. I don't think I can... Let's go. Wait, none of the effects are going through, you're saying? Why don't you shoot him with a gun and see if it works? Uh, or probably should've. Let's do Whirlwind. Yeah, resisted, sundered. Die, fool. Let's get this over with. Yeah, shields generated at the start of battle. Shields generated... The, what? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, resistance to all negative ongoing effects, 110%. He literally... Was this... This didn't happen the last time. But yeah, effectively... I have to hit him with pure damage? So you're just gonna have to uh, use perhaps, um. We should talk about this. What's it's really just Signy's move, right? Um. Yeah. On the prowl. I mean, I do small amounts of damage to him. Was she death touched or? No, she can't be. She can't be because she's wearing. He that does a device. ton of damage though. But yeah, if you notice his... His shields are still high and getting higher. This sucks. How do I change the battle difficulty? Wait, 
Wait, it's just a put your own damage up, put your enemy's damage down? Screw it. I... I... Wait, can I do that mid-battle? I mean, I'll keep it at one. What's this say? Can lead to imbalanced battles. Who we know cares? that, but something's bugged okay, out here. Okay, now I do a ton of damage to him. Okay, yeah, I, I'm sorry for people that want us to play this legitimately, but he's broken. Well, we've so, played this legitimately. Yeah, so we played this legitimately. The way uh, the way Karen's supposed to work is he is actually invulnerable up until you kill all of his dudes. Like you know, the shields are too much. So the trick is you. Um, and then when he's alone, he steals your AP and uses it to death yeah, touch your characters. So when he's alone, he becomes a much more dangerous foe. However, he becomes vulnerable. You can do status effects to him and stuff like that. I really wish I had the footage to prove this, but you guys are just going to have to take my words at face value. Because we had been using Diego to poison and Griffith to strike through with his ultimate ability and other things, but... Uh, so, do you think it's because the elf still didn't... Maybe it's the elf! Maybe you just need to kill her sooner than the other people. You know what I mean? And you're to blame. Yeah. Haven't these bugs happened only the two times the where the elf is like the last one where available? She's the last one. Yeah. In the belfry. Uh, it is very much the case. I okay. So, I mean, worse comes to worse. I just uh. Not yet. She is not getting a whole lot of shields here. Yes, yes. As rough. I mean, we're kind of able to hurt him. Actually, we are able to curse him, hurt him. I mean, okay, so he can be taunted, awkwardly enough. Well, yeah. I mean, that's been consistent. I guess it's a, it's not a negative ongoing effect. But yeah, so if you notice, we just tried to poison him and he resisted it. Whereas before, he would take it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, as long as Signy doesn't go down here, uh, we might be able to pull this off, because we've got all of his shields off. Which had never happened before. Hmm. I remember where it was pretty much impossible to take his shields off, and then we would have to do the pure damage to get yeah. through. Let's get this over like, there are definitely, like, mechanical reasons. Oh yeah, because he's just got a thousand again. Yeah, he gets, yes, he gets a thousand, uh, one hundred every turn. It's ten percent of his max shields. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I don't know. I I hate it when this happens, where I get to the end of the game, and for whatever reason it breaks. It's so crushing. Because I, I want... I really do want to, like, uh, do this last fight properly, but... I just... I can't. I really think it must be the elf, though. The two times where it failed was when the elf was present last, right? Except for when we had, uh... When we had, uh... Done it the first time the elf was last. Because the elf always has dumb pathing because the elf is so big. Really? I don't remember her being the last one to go down. I'm just gonna have Theo eat the hit. I thought it was, like, the Lord of Marion that was the last. Oh, maybe? Yeah. You could be right about that, now that I'm thinking about it. But, I don't... It's just really annoying. Because I, I really do love this game. This is, this is a really fun experience, and it sucks that the ending is just like... Me being frustrated and angry at everything. <laughs> oh well. Well, now we get to watch this cutscene again. Woo! Yay! At least it's kind of a satisfying cutscene. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. is satisfying. Oh look, he's still spry. You, you think you've won, haven't you? That this is over? Huh. The frame rate is like tanking really hard. I'm sorry about this, everybody, but I can't do anything at this point. Fools, madmen! This means nothing. Nothing, you hear? Will you shut up already? At this point, you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Let it go, Karen. Leave, and there won't be any bad blood between us. Oh, I will leave, all right. 
can return. Next time, nothing will save you. I... I will return with an army of nobles so big, so powerful. <laughs> you will be gutted like the mongrel bunch you are. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there is something, you know. Kay? No. You're not thinking about... Huh? What's this? Uh, wh wh are you going to kill me? Oh my! The tension is killing me! Ah, right. Nah, I won't. This city has seen enough bloodshed already, don't you think? House Lauren or otherwise. <laughs> Weakling! You're signing your death warrant! <sighs> what? Cat got your tongue? I swear. I swear on the legacies that you have claimed as your own. I, Karin of House Lauren, the true heir of Ascalia, will return for what is mine. My, my, my. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Would you mind repeating that for the protocol, Mr. Karen Lauren? Mr. Crucy! Oh, from bad to worse. M Mr. Crucy? What are you doing here? Why, I've come to collect my routine installments. For some reason, no doubt very important and very well documented, I haven't received any written word for you in the last weeks. I came to ensure you shall make the deadline, but it would seem I have stumbled upon some truly astonishing developments. Mr. Karen, was it? Is that true? Are you, in fact, the one true heir? Was it not this man? Mr. Crucy, let me... Shh, shh, shh. Who, who the hell are you? Walter Crucy of the Furtive Union. Now, answer the question, please. Yes, I am. And I cannot abide by this ridiculous nonsense. That man, Kay, is a fraud, an imposter, a pretendant. I am the true king. I demand, I demand legitimacy. I demand acknowledgement of my status in the face of the law. <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. <sighs> After all, we must all abide the law, don't we? As the chief financial representative of the Furtive Union and the custodian of the bygone finances of House Lauren, I declare as follows. All right. All of the current and remaining obligations, which will probably span years till mine, shall be transferred from Sir Kay's family onto your personage. What? 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 I won't say it. <laughs> I mean, he was paying for someone else's family's debts. Yep. It would appear that a horrible, horrible mistake must have taken place. As such, the massive, crippling, and completely unregulated debts of your ancestors have been wrongly assigned to this young man. Naturally, this is all remedied now. With your confession, everything is clear. Also, I would imagine that Sir Kay would want his money back, wouldn't he? In fact, right now he has an extremely strong claim for compensation, should he decide to exercise it before the courts. I also expect you to be as diligent with your payments as your predecessor was. I am sure you will be able to meet the first deadline of, say, next week? What? What? But, but... Yes, Mr. Lauren? Is there anything you would like to add? You, 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 you can't! This, I, you! Careful now. I would refrain from making threats you cannot back, Mr. Lauren. People were known to vanish for less. So, about that deadline, are we clear? Hmm. 
Unfortunate. But worry not, we shall exercise our due. We always do. That said, I shall bid you adieu. Have a great day, Mr. K, Miss Gwendolyn, Miss Elaine. Mr. Crucy? Hmm? I never expected to say this, but thank you. Please, have I not told you already once? We're civilized people. I am not a comic book villain, Mr. K. It's just business, nothing more, nothing less. And I respect those who are dependable enough to keep up their ends of the bargain, especially with the odds you were given. Congratulations on your new property. Debt-free this time. But isn't it technically still Karen's? <laughs> Is it? Oh, I do not know. Ownership is a fickle thing, you see. Claims get forged, papers get lost. Perhaps you worry too much. Additionally, I would imagine he has more pressing issues at the moment, don't you think? Farewell, Mr. K. Hopefully, for good. I'm actually impressed. That was one fancy, uh, what do you call it? Uh, deuce ex machina? Anyway, what you gonna do now, folks? That's a good question, actually. What are we gonna do now? You tell me. You're the king, remember? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, we're not even House Lauren. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, just to make sure. We're staying, right? Of course. It's home. Indeed it is. But in the meantime, let us make it official. All hail, King K! All hail, Escalia! Hail! hail! All hail, hail King, King K! K! Thanks for standing with me. I am honored that you would have me as your king. And you'll make a good one, too. So, uh, is it over? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you can all go back to your homes now. Thanks. Uh, well, gotta start working on that new house name. A new coat of arms would be wise, too. Oh, I might have a few ideas. So do I. Great, <laughs> let's hit the drawing board. This is going to be disastrous, isn't it? And so ends the story of a man whose deeds echoed stronger than his blood. Despite the countless seemingly insurmountable obstacles, silly or otherwise, Ascalia rose from the ashes, its warm, hopeful light shining across Rashtil once again. Naturally, not everything that followed was happy or epic. Or, well, well, didn't even make sense. But such is life and tales need not imitate it. And for as long as Escalia stands, its people shall look to the past and remember, gleaming with pride. They shall remember the time when among them walked both men and monarchs. I wish they were consistent with the pronunciation. Escalia, Escalia, Karen, 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 Escalia. Karen yeah. yeah. Rachel, Rashtil. Rushtel, I don't know. Anyways, we <laughs> stumbled across the finish line at last, but we did it. We've beaten Regalia, thank God. <laughs> and it didn't break too hard on the last bit. Oh, sort of. it did. I mean, you know it. that last cutscene, I was like watching the uh, FPS slowly going from 30 down to 15 to 12, and I'm like, please don't go further down. I don't want this to break during the ending cutscene, because then I would have truly been upset. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so we've beaten this game, and it was wonderful and really fun, and because of the problems, I'm sorry. I know you, some of you guys probably want me to go back and finish off some of those, like, uh... Well, we, d we never finished, what, Gren, Henrietta, who else? Gren, Henrietta, uh... Hoxoon. Hoxoon and the Alchemist, who we talked to that one time. I'd like to, but considering how freaking shaky this is, I'm just probably gonna put it on the back burner. Slash never. That's okay. It was a fun story, and I I am glad that when the whole uh you know Karen being like I'm the house Loren yeah. heir, Crucy was like oh well 
then the debt is yours. <laughs> yeah, see, I always like when the deus ex machina is, uh, is also, well established. Also, why did they say deus ex machina versus deus? He was making uh, a joke that it was uh, a piece of shit. Because <laughs> a deuce is a... A deuce is a... <laughs> I mean, it could actually have been a translation issue. This, I think, is a Polish studio. I could be wrong. From, yeah, maybe from the names I'm seeing. Yeah, could so be. I would not be surprised if it wasn't also like just a writing translation issue. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it works no matter what. And if it was a pun, awesome. And if it wasn't a pun, awesome. But yeah, seriously, thanks everybody for making this game uh, from Pixel Milk, Pixelated Milk. Thanks everybody that you know did the voice acting. What I don't know. That thanks for making this game. It was wonderful. It was if you beautiful. guys are even watching this. And for those of you that are watching this, that I know are watching this, thanks for watching so much, because this was a fun series to do, and I'm glad that you guys uh, enjoyed it as much as, as you did, as we did. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess with this, we will see you guys on the next, uh, whatever series you watch next. And as always, thanks for watching. I forgot there's a mini epilogue. Count Roderick's greatest wealth. You know, Griffith, it's funny how we've completely forgotten about this. True. I still cannot wrap my head around the fact. I also cannot imagine why, apparently, Karen made no use of it. Especially now, given his current situation. Huh. Think it's empty? His words seemed to suggest otherwise. Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> the greatest treasure of House Thorin. What the hell? Hmm. Is that... Are those... Well... Are those... bottle caps? <laughs> so it was the great bottle cap collection. Yep, I had forgotten about this part. So here's all of the, uh, the heirs and stuff like that. This is Roderick, uh, Lauren, the financier. The richest documented member of House Lauren, thanks to his daring investments, careful administrative decisions, and impeccable business acumen, the kingdom managed to accumulate an impressive fortune, an asset that would later be completely squandered by his descendants. So he would ruin Lauren. Oh, Over that was squandered by him. Yeah. So, it was squandered by the- No, 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 Woodrow is over there. Oh, this guy. What happened to- but, Oh, he- No, no, I wanted to finish this. Okay. However, this pursuit of valuables took a great toll in his personal life which likely led to the single-minded obsession of hiding away his greatest, his life's greatest wealth, all of his bottle caps. And Woodrow Lauren. The wastrel. An ignoble, ignoble descendant squanderer with a love for everything luxurious. His gambling escapades and wasteful habits have laid the foundation for House Lauren's staggering generational debt, a circumstance that only grew exponentially worse with each successive ruler. Long story short, a very unfortunate streak. Truly, the less said about him, the better. And there, there, then there are the other people. This is the one that believed he was an elf. Current Loren. The is artist the... that had made the painting of the summer house. Yeah. And Robert Loren was the one that made Castle, Castle Loren and also uh, did some other things. So people who's the him. grandpa? He's not listed there. Uh, Desideratus Loren is Gramps. So Robert Loren, I guess, kind of matches him, but Desideratus is not listed. In and those are, are all... the cadet. Yeah, branches. those are those are the Kickstarter people. Mm -hmm. But that that doesn't matter. All right, one last save, and then, like I was saying, see you guys next time.